Coming out of the 4-0 against Shanghai, I think confidence was definitely at a high. We knew that the Shanghai match wasn't going to be super easy for us, but we were well prepared and it went really well. The match of this week was probably the most important match for us for this stage. It was our chance to make it to playoffs. And we definitely trying to keep the, the momentum going. Felt really good about our scouting notes, how they were going to play, what comps they were going to play. And we felt like we had a good answer to that. Boston in particular being a pretty aggressive type team, which is something we haven't faced since the shock match. But, you know, we felt like uh, the practice that we were going into and the things we were working on were great for dealing with that sort of thing. So we were ready like to go into the next match and really pump because it was like our chance to go to the playoffs. So we screened really hard, we prepared really well for the match. Confidence was at a high, morale was at a high. We felt really good and felt like this was our series to win. The Boston match, I think, meant everything to us um, because the way the stage playoffs were working, if we won, we'd be in no matter what. To make playoffs, we only had to win against Boston, no matter what the score was. We only had to win to, to secure a spot. If we lost, uh, it, it was going to be tough to make it. If we lost, it would depend on how we lost and other teams' performances. And we wanted to be able to have control of the playoffs in our hands and felt like you know we, we worked hard and thought that we could be able to make it in. Confidence was high, we were feeling good, we were excited. I'm um, really just ready to compete. I was feeling great. I knew we could win. I, I knew we have the, the potential to win. I was ready to go in. So give a warm welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Dallas Fuel. Desperately try to hold the spurt as long as they can. Now the crowd's going to be coming through. Red Simmons instantly in from Aim God. Bob up over the top. And RCK's going to get a double. Fusions and Blase both taken down. The cleanup's there. I don't know which angle he's going to come from. Here it comes. Yeah, comes it in. That's all six members of the Boston Uprising caught. It's the only ultimate they will have to use as well. Fusions and Blase both going to be taken down. Now the sound barrier out to seal the deal. Shatter comes down, locks up two. They try to get that flipped in the back line, but they cannot do so. And the Dallas Fuel, they clean up Kellex, will be able to take Ilios with a 2-1. Oh, he's just pushing forward. Oh, man. Right out in front, locking him up. And it is. Uh, it's a slaughter. It's no chance. Good night for King's Three, two, one, no, 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 Boston no, 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 EMP going to be thrown down. It's just both supports again. The shatter comes down. Hoshi finds another fat one. They'll clean him up. Just be in with two minutes plus remaining in the time bank. Dallas will move up 2-0 in the series. Personally, I was, I was feeling great. I was feeling good. Uh, we had a couple of good maps. We played really well. So we, uh, we went back to the, to the dugout at halftime. Uh, really happy, really like feeling relief kind of. Everyone was feeling good, felt like everything was going according to plan. Uh, so we kind of just talked about Volskaya, talked about you know, the rotations that we were going to do, how we were going to adapt and everything. Keep it going, keep up that same energy. A couple times we got a little over hyping, couldn't really calm. It's fine, just stay cool. We got this, all right? You guys are insane. Let's go, boys. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's get it. Oh, oh. Just shy of six minutes at the moment as the second tick pulls through. Sound barrier is out. As closer just tries to get in onto the point. They're zoning him back. It's in the corner. Translocator comes out, and Zachary can't get there in time. The cap is through, and Boston Uprising look fantastic so far. He off, or sorry, sound barrier off. Not seeing much of an opening to do that. EMP's gonna be coming through. Sound barrier still out from Kellex, but Aim God gonna be picked off and no knocked out of the back. So, solo shatter in Kohler Hux. Actually, no, sorry, they didn't even see him on the sides. Catches three. That's gonna be all the kills coming through. Dallas Fuel. Finally breaking through. No chance to use the Shatter. It came gone. The bomb finds RCK. And it's looking really good for Boston Uprising. They will be able to close this out. Take a map and start that. Sorry, Volskaya is not our map. <laughs> Volskaya has kind of been a weak map for us, but we, you know, we were still feeling pretty good about it, just based on how our warm-ups went and everything. Um, and overall, we did OK, but uh, Boston kind of changed our style a little bit. We didn't quite adapt. Uh, well enough in the moment. Go goes back into the back with a shatter, catches the big one. Oh, Fusions! Knocks them down! Oh, 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 but I don't think they're going to be able to do it. Closer's going to be eliminated. No, 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 they're going to shoot fire. Try to shoot. Oh, oh, energy shoot. color hex is coming for you! Yeah, Takes them down. down! And ladies and gentlemen, okay, okay, we're yeah. going to game five! Like like, answers, no. oh, I mean, RCK being d -mech, he gets the remec here, but he's d mech again. He's not going to be able to really tag this point. I think that's just basically... That's it. Boom! Also, I'm pricing. They're helping. Oh, they're in shambles. Oh, they're oh, they're 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 for the point, RCK building up, nearly has the EMP, Shatter out from Mochi, not gonna find much confusion, still gonna be thinking of an RCK, dead before he can use it! The kills just come in, Boston Uprising! 
They wipe him! He's trying to armor himself up, but he himself will be taken down. It. The fire strike coming through. Boston Uprising the looking for the sweep. reverse sweep. Going the distance. The Dallas Fuel. Just nothing that they can do. OG trying to make it back in. They get a tag from RCK on the back of the point with the Bracer. But he just has a sliver of HP, and he will be finished off. The Boston okay. Uprising uh, have done it in the okay, end. Guys. Good stage one. Did you go next? Yeah. I was pretty devastated, uh, to be honest. It was a really frustrating feeling to be up 2-0, and we let her get away from us. And it was, you know, Boston played well, of course, but if it, we knew what we had to do, you know, to take it, and we and it got away from us. And it's kind of frustrating that how we started off the stage, combined with how we ended the stage, ended up meaning that instead of third place. You know, we get dropped all the way down the ninth. Getting river swept is already hard, but it's if it's a f for a playoff spot, it's even worse. Uh, so we were feeling down, all of us. Uh, we knew we should have won this match. Uh, we had to win this match, and we didn't, unfortunately. We, I'm not gonna say we choked, because we did not choke. We just couldn't adapt our playstyle fast enough to their playstyle, uh, which is all bad. Uh, but yeah, like, it's obviously heartbreaking, and we were feeling really sad. Look. Losing like that sucks. It stings, okay? It does. But what, ha what we do now is we, um, we think it over, we move on, okay? We're still a family, we're still a team, so we, we don't blame each other, we don't point fingers, whatever happened, happened. We move on, we focus on what's next, okay? Going into the room with the players after a loss like that, you know, it's, um, it's never an easy thing for anybody to deal with, but my goal was to make sure everyone understood that this is just a small piece of our season. Even though, you know, we, we barely missed the playoffs here and now, we still have a larger goal ahead of us. Our ultimate goal of the season playoffs and being, you know, being the best in the world um, is still something in our future. It's still something that's within our grasp and still something we're focusing on. Um, so, you know, we you know, acknowledge that, you know, we let this one get away from us and, you know, it kind of sucks. But the future is what we're aiming for when we're aiming to be the best and we can still do that. So going into the 2019 season, I think we had a lot of uh, pressure and uh, build up coming up to the first uh, couple matches in the stage. I think our team uh, had a lot of difficulties at the start. You know, you look at how we did coming into the first day and then, and then how we did going into the last day, I think the growth was very noticeable. You know, it was something that we knew that we had to come together, come to our own as a team and, and, and figure out how we work together on stage appropriately. And, and I think we did. I think you start to see near the end of the stage exactly what we were made of and how we can perform on stage. And even though we didn't make it into the stage playoffs, I th I'm very proud of how we, you know, how we played and performed. Uh, these guys work extremely hard every single day. You know, we showed everyone that we can be one of the best teams. And even though we, you know, a few mistakes took us from being, you know, top three to ninth, you know, we're still one of, the, one of the better teams and we still exceeded everyone's expectations and, and we want to keep that going. We'll check ourselves, make sure we're, we're doing everything um, as good as we can and then we're going to focus on stage two. We have to move on uh, from stage one. Um, we still have a, a positive record overall, so we have to focus on stage two, focus on the new meta, focus on what's next and we're going to do great and we're going to be better and better every single stage.